Uh, obviously, uh, we just played a really good team. I've really been impressed with Bruce's team and the job he's done. I've been impressed with them on film. Uh, we worked on a lot of things defensively that we thought we could have success with. And obviously, in the first half, uh, that was not the case. They shot it well. They moved it well. Kami is he's one of the best players in the country. I mean, I've really been impressed with him, his composure uh, in, in trapping situations. He's, he's, uh, he's an amazing player, and he had a great game. But I thought we battled. We kept coming. Uh, disappointed in the start of the second half, how we, how we came out in the second half. I mean, we felt like we didn't play that well. We're down 12 at halftime. We're right there, even though we didn't play well, and then we start poorly and get down 18, cut it to six, and uh, yeah, I can't seem to put, put it in the free throw line. So that was unfortunate. But I'm proud of my guys and how they fought. We're getting better, and we're getting better. When you talk about playing a good team and the numbers that Illinois was able to put up tonight, how much of that is, you know, just them being able to make shots and you live with that, and how much of it was, you know, breakdowns with the defense? It was a defense? combination of both. I mean, this is a team that's difficult to defend because they have multiple three-point shooters and a phenomenal point guard. You know, when your 7-1 guy can hit a three and, and your subs are hitting threes, you know, they're going to stretch the defense, and that gives McKinney more time to penetrate. I don't think we were as quick with our rotations as we need to be mm -hmm. uh, against a team like this. You know, we were close, but not close enough, and we've got to do a better job with those. We'll work on it and get better. Um, when the team's shooting that way, though, Fran, I mean, not, the best defense in the world sometimes is going to, if they're making 10 or 12 threes the first half, what are you going to do? Well, you know, I think what you have to do, Rick, is you got to chase them off it. Now, you might run the risk of penetration dunk, penetration pull up, but I think once they started, started to get into a rhythm, I mean seven in a row in the first, right. you, you got to chase them off it, and that's what we were trying to do, and obviously we were unsuccessful. So that led to the open looks that were getting inside because you were extending outside. Right? Yeah, now, now, now you got to go, I mean you got to go all the way, and, and you know, they've got some, some standstill guys, but they've got some shot fake drive guys, you know, it's not like they're they're surrounding the three-point line with, with standstill shooters. If you get there, then you've got it covered. These guys will drive it. And, and, and the other thing that I've been impressed with with this team, they really share the ball. I mean, they make the extra pass, the extra, extra pass, and, and, and they move it on. I mean, they've got, I don't know if I can remember playing a team, one guy makes five, one guy makes four, one guy makes four. And that's, that's a lot. How much did the early foul trouble that both Mel and Jared had impact what you Jared, wanted to do? Jared, more so than Mel. Mel's been sick. Mm -hmm. I think you can see his energy level was not what it needs to be. He's been sick since the, the uh, Louisiana Tech game. I thought we could get some quality minutes out of him. Gave us 12 minutes and four points. Uh, you know, he'll be better. He just he hasn't eaten mm -hmm. in about five or six days. There's a situation here, Coach, where uh, I think it was eight and uh, got an intentional foul on Eric. He missed both free throws. You turned the ball over in the possession. I mean, that was a huge momentum swing for us. I, I feel bad for Eric. He's he shot a ton of free throws. We've, we've shot more free throws in practice than any other team in America, I guarantee you. And we're drilling him. And that's what's frustrating for all of us. I feel bad for Eric because I thought he played well. He really worked defensively. He was right in the middle of a lot of things. And uh, I, I, I'm confident with him there, typically. What was Big's problem offensively during that 16 0 run in the middle of the first half? Uh, I don't think there was that much of a problem offensively. I think probably we weren't screening enough. Uh, but, you know, we got some clean looks. They were making, we weren't. What are the main positives you take out of a game like this, even though you don't want to start the Big Ten season 0 1? They tell your team. Well, you know, I thought we kept coming. Uh, you know, we, we kept coming. The crowd was phenomenal for us. We needed that. Uh, we had some guys step up and make plays. I thought Marble, I thought he was really good. Really good. Cartwright was good. Gaten's. You know, Jared Cole in the second half, seven offensive rebounds. I mean, stealing post feeds. I mean, he was just all over the place. And uh, you now Bromer gave us some quality minutes. I mean, I thought McCabe was, he was kind of close to having a good game, but you know, he was off a little bit. McCall's went against him. And, uh, 
got him a little bit sideways, but uh, you know he was solid. So I mean, we lost to a really good team, and, and a team that I have a lot of respect for, and, and uh, hopefully we we learned from this experience and we'll be better the next time. Tuesday night you play another really good team, Ohio State, number two in the country. You just you have the six days to prepare, though. Do you feel that that's of benefit for this team at this point in time to have those extra days as opposed to having a game this weekend when some of the other teams are going to be playing? I think for a young team, I think a general answer to that question would be the more time, the better. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, I think it'll be the longest that we have pretty much from here on after after Ohio State. They come pretty regularly to games a week, so. We'll, we'll take advantage of it. We'll get Mel Sod a little bit stronger, a little bit healthier. I think that will help us. Then we'll break this game down and take a look at it. And, and, and that's the only thing we can do is, is try to make progress.